Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Gear Talk and this time I'm going to talk to you about uh, a Pentax lens, uh, the FA31 f1.8 AL Limited. Long and complex name for a very very nice lens. Before we begin, as usual, if you want to support the channel, remember put a like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you want to go a step further, check out my books in Jet Fine Art Printing, Photography, Dev Manual, and Last in Photograph. Nice novel with a nice review. By the way, all the links are down there in the description. This said, the Pentax 31mm. And yes, it's the FA 31mm f1.8 AL Limited. So it's a kind of a long name. But it's a 31mm, so it's a very, very nice focal length that I like. And 1.8 is a very good aperture also for low light situation and especially to give uh, that uh, out of focus areas, uh, that bokeh, how they call it, um, that is very very nice, especially in situations like uh, uh, portraits and so on. I made the test of this lens with two different cameras, the Pentax K1 Mark II, so a full frame camera, and the Pentax KF, that is a uh, APS-C sensor, by the way, great camera, you can check the review here. And uh, I really like this lens. This lens, uh, if I have to describe uh, with one word, is a lens with a lot of personality. And this means this lens uh, uh, really is uh, as a kind of unique uh, look. It gives a unique look to the photographs. And uh, you can see a little slideshow here of the pictures I taken with this lens. And by the way, there's also some pictures that I taken with the Pentax MZS and the Ferrania P30 film that I tested and you can check the video here. And uh, uh, so I also tried this lens with the film camera because this lens is very good with film camera. It still has all the features like the aperture ring and so on that are great to use with film cameras.
As you can see, is a great lens. Uh, the results, I really like it. It's not uh, a perfect lens in the modern sense of analytic lenses. Uh, if you are looking for that uh, uh, analytic lens uh, with everything perfectly sharp, the same cut with the axe, uh, and uh, this is not the lens for you. This lens uh, is, as I looked at it, is like uh, the older lenses, uh, the lenses we were used to use with film. So it's a great lens, but it's not that precise. Uh, the center of the image is always great. All apertures, uh, the center of the image is absolutely sharp and is absolutely great. On the border of the images, uh, you can see that there are some softer areas uh, until you arrive at f.8 in that case uh, it's perfect also for precise landscape but these uh, limits I can call them of the lens are exactly what gives this lens uh, that peculiar uh, look there's a lot of people nowadays looking for kind of the film look on the digital camera and this lens gives that look it's just absolutely a fantastic lens. As you can see here, there's a sequence of pictures that I took simply out of the window to check the sharpness and uh, vignetting and everything at different uh, uh, apertures of the, of the lens. And as I said, f1.8, uh, uh, the center is great, uh, the border starts to be uh, soon very soft, as you go up with the use you close the aperture uh, it becomes much better also on the borders but the fact that uh, at the wide aperture you have these soft borders it's fantastic for example for ambience portrait if you want to give the focus or street photography or something like that where you want the focus of the image to be in the center. Uh, that gives you a fantastic uh, um, point of attraction for the eyes and gives you a nice out of focus areas on the borders. And the out of focus areas are really really great uh, with this lens. Uh, I don't know how many blades are in this, uh, in this lens but it's absolutely uh, round, the, the aperture is absolutely round and so gives a bokeh that is very very nice. Something that uh, I appreciate about this lens is the construction. It's very solid, it's very metallic, it's very it's uh, heavy but is uh, a good heavy. It's uh, really uh, a solid construction. It's very easy to use also the lens in manual focus and it's something that I like to do a lot. So uh, the focus ring is nice to use and uh, is not too much soft uh, as usually are for autofocus lenses. Another great thing this lens still have is the, is the little green uh, notch here to align the lens uh, with the bayonet uh, of the of the camera in the dark. This is something that uh, I say in every review, but I love this, and I hope Pentax will put this in every lens. As I said, this lens has still all the connection, the mechanical connection for the aperture, so you can use this lens on a film camera. And that is something that I really like. I think this lens on a film camera is absolutely great and outstanding, very, very great results. Something that I have to add about these lenses, uh, Post-processing, when you use uh, this kind of lenses, is not uh, uh, that standard. If you use a software that uh, automatically adds a lot of sharpness and you cannot take it away, like uh, for example Lightroom to, does that, or if you use a software that has a standard sharpness but you can take it away, my suggestion is always 
don't use the software with the sharpness if you don't if you can take away the the sharpness but if you use the software like uh, capture one for example you can eliminate the sharpness uh, and uh, uh, you will see the very great results with this lens. This lens uh, for me is a perfect uh, use when you don't want uh, that uh, uh, cut with axe pixels that uh, absolutely um, uh, how, how can I call it? I usually call it a square sharpness uh, but uh, this is nice when you want to see the very smooth transitions between the tonalities uh, and so on and uh, it's perfect this lens is perfect for that and for that you need to uh, put to zero all the extra sharpness because uh, uh, you don't want to see artifacts inserted with that and by the way lately i'm starting to use a lot for example row therapy that is a free software it's an open source software and uh, with that uh, you can really uh, understand what it means to have uh, sharpness added during the row conversion so and you can see the difference when you take away the sharpness and what gives to the photograph this lens has, uh, has every wide angles a little vignette in on the corner and uh, the larger aperture but that disappear when you close down the, the aperture and uh, that is something that uh, I always love because I see a lot of people uh, worried about uh, a little bit of injecting uh, in the images and usually they end uh, all the elaboration of the image, they correct all the vignetting and all these kind of things or let the software automatically correct it for them and then they add some vignetting to concentrate uh, the view of the image on the center so that's something that is kind of uh, personal but uh, when I look around I see a lot of images that have a lot of vignetting uh, added something that we see in the movies um, a lot of times so uh, I don't care about a little bit of vignetting uh, I care about having an aperture that allows me to work in low light uh, and uh, most of all to have uh, some uh, uh, separation of the different apps uh, when I use uh, when I want to have uh, just uh, one plane of focus in focus and let uh, um, let the other planes go a little bit out of focus so when I want a shallow depth of field 1.8 is great good thing about this lens construction I said lens cap it's kind of uh, very good the lens suit is uh, inserted in the in the lens and uh, is doing yes uh, a good job but uh, I suggest if you have light coming on the lens I suggest to use your hand to put some shade and be sure that it is not uh, uh, in the camera and most of all if you use this lens uh, with the APS-C format you have a lot of room still to uh, improve the, the lens so uh, if you use an APS-C format uh, and there's sun coming in the camera or something like that use your hand uh, to put some shade on the lens Talking about the lens shade, something that this lens have is uh, some uh, uh, flare when there's the sun coming directly, there's, there's the light coming directly in the lens. Uh, there's an angle where you can see kind of uh, color or reflection and artifacts inside, but it's just uh, uh, a little bit angle. If you move just a little bit, no matter if you have the sun inside, the flare is uh, absolutely correct. And I mean, it's a flare that uh, is working around uh, the highlights, so around, for example, the sun, if it's in the sheen, giving that uh, smooth uh, transition between the very highlights and the uh, let's say the, the places where there are some information in the pixels but uh, it leaves uh, without problems the uh, darker areas so it's a uh, it's very nice nice uh, flare the one in this lens this lens is uh, absolutely a good lens and i think is the kind of lens you can love or hate uh, i see some people online that they are complaining because this lens is not uh, that analytic sharp lens we are used to and I see a lot of people loving this lens because it has some character it has that personality and that look that is uh, peculiar to this lens using this lens 
Uh, I have to be honest, the first uh, photographs I took with this lens, I was kind of uh, disappointed. I started to use this and I started to really, really like uh, this lens, uh, like the characteristic of this lens and like uh, uh, the peculiarity of this lens. And as I said, uh, more I uh, use this lens uh, for subject where I want uh, soft transition and more I use this lens with software that allows me to avoid the sharpening during the raw conversion and more I appreciate this lens. So if you want something that is a, a kind of a peculiar lens, very nice lens, go with this. This uh, will give you great results. If you are looking for something that is absolutely analytic, uh, it gives you that uh, perfect uh, sharpness where every pixel is there with, uh, you know, cut square and these kind of things, this is not the lens for you. Something that uh, my suggestion is uh, get this lens uh, and uh, use it for a while. If you have someone that can give you the lens uh, to try, try it, but give some time. Uh, again, I first shots with this lens, I was uh, kind of disappointed. The uh, more I use it and more I like it. And by the way, I think this lens is absolutely perfect if you like black and white uh, and if you like to do black and white photography. This lens is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. This is all about this beautiful Pentax lens. If you want to check more reviews, just uh, go on my channels and you will, you will see other reviews of Pentax lenses, cameras and so on. And remember, if you want to support the channel, uh, please put a like, subscribe, share with your friends and check out my books, uh, lasting photographs, novel, photography dev manual, everything you need to know about photography and in jet fine art printing. So, Check them out. Thank you for watching and see you next time with uh, other reviews of other lenses and camera.